What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm starting off today's video. It is Monday. We are starting off with a little bit of a boring subject. I'm not going to lie. I've just been doing a little bit of work for the last couple of hours. Um, so I'm going to get that done and then eventually we're going to go to the gym. I'm going to be vlogging today. I've got a couple of things to do, a couple of interesting things. So without further ado, let's get today's video started. Ah, don't you just love reading? <laughs> Said nobody ever. Ever, 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 right? Okay, a little dissertation update. I am pretty much deciding what my question is gonna be. So I'm gonna keep sort of, obviously because I'm a student, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I'm a student at Nottingham Trent University. I've been here for the last couple of years now, and this is my third year, this is my final year. So obviously you have to do a dissertation. I want to do something in or around the gym. As long as it has something to do with the gym, then I don't mind doing it. Purely because you have to do a lot. Like, and I mean a lot of reading, a lot of research and everything. So if it's something that I'm interested in, like the gym, this is my love, my passion sort of thing, then I don't mind reading about it. I won't go into too much detail because I know you guys just won't give a shit. I've chatted enough shit. I'll, I'll see you guys next clip. Right guys, so the plan is I am gonna meet Jake at the gym in around about 10, 15 minutes or so. So I need to quickly get changed. Today's outfit is going to be the LSJ MMT version 2. These will be available very, very soon. So I'm, um, again, the same as what I did with the hoodies. I have no idea how many to order or whatever, anything like that. If you guys find this kind of, it's really super soft, super stretchy, like nice, slightly longer line than the tees before. Um, so if you are interested in that, then let me know because I have no idea how many to order, when to bring them out or anything like that. Let me know, you guys help. Helps me out a hell of a lot more than you would expect. I'm gonna finish getting ready. And I'll catch you guys at the gym. Good morning, YouTube. We have a slightly reduced clan, if you remember this time last week. We had about six of us going to uni. Now there's only three of us. I'm in from nine till seven today. Yes, nine till fucking seven. Where are you going? I've been quiet for so long. <laughs> Hour one of ten. Look at me. Mate, we have a way to go. It's literally like not a block yet. It's literally like five to nine. Can't do it, I'm off. <laughs> What the fuck is that, bro? Wow. Summary of hour one, Jake. <laughs> We've treated ourselves <sighs> to a brekkie. It's leg day, so we need to do the extra carbs. I'm looking forward to my hash browns, you know. The ones that I just dropped on the floor. <laughs> Currently on route to the gym. Not trying legs, Liam. Yes, we are. Oh. It's leg day, and Jake's fucking pussing out. On leg day. Well, I'll squat you anyway. It's leg day. It's leg day. It's leg day. It's leg day. Coming alive. Whoa. 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 Now is the time. Whoa. Don't try to hide. Whoa. Cause I'm gonna you like Oh my God. Boys, how are we feeling after hour 10? 
I feel alright, you know. We are gonna go. This is our first 10 hour day of the term. So we are gonna go for a well deserved pint. Um, that's the third time this video. I should just call this video. Up the set. Um, I should just call this video what a well deserved something or like. Because I've said well deserved uh, egg cob, well deserved gym sesh, well deserved Please pint. If I didn't already have a topic for this video, then I would cool. call it that. So I'm not gonna. In fact, this talk was a waste of time. Cheers, boys. I missed it. Oh, f Right, sit down portion of the video. And this is gonna be the title of today's video, just like it was in the last one. What are my goals and where I want to go, not only with the channel, but with my fitness and just the gym in general in the future. So I'll start off by saying, uh, please ignore the mess. I'm in the ch in the process of changing the uh, the bed, but I wanted to just, uh, it was kind of a spontaneous idea. I've had a couple of questions, so I wanted to address it on video. Obviously when you enter the gym, like I'm sure most of you guys watching this video will be, it's important to, know where you are and realize where you are but also know where you want to go at the same time like you don't want to just be going into the gym and throwing around a few weights doing a few bicep curls doing bench press or whatever and wondering why you're not making any progress wondering why you're not getting where you want to get and so the way that i'm going to tackle that this year is i did it when i very first started training like a year ago but then kind of faded off and I'm going to be tracking in this book and I'm going to be showing you guys as well. In fact, hold on. I have a folder and at the minute it's not very full because there's not a lot in it. But as you can see, there's a program there, program there, all printed off pages ready for me to come home and write down what I did in the workout. And that's what I want to do in the long term. One of my long term goals is to track absolutely everything. Good, the bad, the ugly. Just so I can look back at it in a year's time and go, wow, I used to bench that, but now I'm doing that. And you know, it can help you a hell of a lot mentally. And so that is something that I'm going to be incorporating through the ball. Maybe you guys should try that out too. In the short term, I would like to be benching 80 kilos for eight reps, three sets, three to four sets of eight reps in the short term. In the long term, a long term goal for me has always been to bench 100 kilos same as everyone you know oh yeah, yeah you can bench 100 and then obviously I'm excited for the day that that's gonna be the warm-up and when I look back at this that will give me even more motivation to go further forward and just keep driving just keep improving every single day noting everything down as well helps me it allows me to keep well, literally quite literally keep track of absolutely everything if I forget that I did let's say 75 bench last week if I, I might forget that and think I did 72.5 because getting the progressive overload on, on squat, on bench, on, on fucking everything, right? It can get quite confusing and you can forget where you're at. So if you write everything down, then it helps out a hell of a lot. I found anyway, even in the last couple of weeks. You're not going to be progressing properly if you're not increasing the weight or increasing the reps or just increasing the intensity of the workout one way or another every single week. So writing that down helps me remember to keep on increasing that intensity, keep on hitting that progressive overload and making more gain. In terms of cardio for this ball, I'm going to be doing it once to twice a week, not in, not necessarily being all like, oh my god, I've got to do cardio. But at the same time, I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get what I call first year fat, right? I don't, I don't want to get back to that stage. I want to bulk and preferably half a pound a week, so two pounds a month for the next, let's say, six months. So I'm not putting on 20, 25 pounds like I have done before. I'm putting on, let's say, 12 to 13 pounds. Let's say on average you put on a pound of muscle a month. That's that's about right, right? For someone of my level, one pound a month. If I was to put on like 25 pounds, more than half of that weight, in fact, three quarters of that weight in relation to the fat gain and muscle gain, or like three quarters of it would be fat. So I've got to keep it steady. I want to keep a nice, slow, lean bulk, 500 plus maintenance calories. I found a mistake that I made and not only myself, a lot of people tend to make is that they're just eat whatever they want or like they say oh it's okay because I'm going to the gym like it's not you need to keep on track of it one way or another and if you're not tracking your macros you're not tracking how much drink from alcohol you have you know you're not tracking that occasional pizza that you have or the even something as small as putting sauce on top of something if you're not tracking the sauces you can find you have two three four hundred extra calories every single day let alone if you use syrup if you use syrup my god you're fucked purely because there can be 40 50 60 carbs in one serving of syrup if you have pancakes let's say I'll be healthy and have protein pancakes but then you put normal syrup on top and it's like okay you just reversed all of the effects from that protein pancake but anyway to save myself rambling on even more guys that is just a quick look into where I'm heading in the future and if you have any more questions that I've not answered in this these are just a couple of things that I've been asked in comments and on DMs and everything like that so I thought I'd address it in the video that is going to round off today's video guys so thank you so much for watching as always remember no regrets I'll see you guys in the next video